Je, uh, I live in Quebec since 1970. So I arrived at the age of 10 uh, with uh, my parents just uh, in the aftermath, in fact in 1971, just in the aftermath of a, a quite turbulent period which was, uh, um, which, in which Quebec was going through and uh, the most dramatic events of which were probably, as you know, uh, the uh, uh, armed struggle. But the FLQ and the, uh, the um, downs and falls of a big separatist and sovereignist movement, in fact, uh, was the culmination at the end of 60s and 70s of what in Quebec we used to call the uh, Quiet Revolution. In the um, dominant view of the Quiet Revolution, the revolution is attributed to what uh, is uh, described to be democratic forces which were uh, supposedly led by the Liberal Party of Quebec in the uh, person of Jean Lesage, uh, Prime Minister of Quebec between, uh, in, in fact, for two terms uh, in the beginning of 60s and one of the uh, ministers of which cabinet uh, was uh, the premier, the next premier of Quebec, Mr. René Lévesque, which then with the liberals presided over the nationalization of hydroelectricity in Quebec. Um, but what the um, usual um, presentation of the Quiet Revolution tends to forget is that the Quiet Revolution in fact could, could be also viewed as a, a quiet reaction of dominant political forces and dominant classes to what was a very, very intensive, uh, sometimes even uh, violent, in terms of the violence of the repression uh, that uh, followed the uh, growth and the actions of the popular movement, specifically uh, workers' movement during the whole period of the 50s in Iran. Uh, I say in Iran, sorry. I, I, I have sometimes uh, difficulty to, uh, to dividing between my different origins. In fact, in Iran, we had qu a quite interesting period also in the 50s, but I'm talking about Quebec. So, um, in fact, uh, Quebec went through uh, the 50s. What later uh, was... Uh, uh, was uh, um, recuperated uh, by the uh, dominant classes and the uh, dominant political elites and depicted as the quiet revolution. In fact, that real revolution took place in the uh, very, very uh, active and rapid process of um, um, radicalization of the workers' movement during the, uh, uh, during the 50s along a certain number of uh, important strikes. For example, the strike in the region of asbestos of 5,000 miners of the asbestos mines in eastern Quebec. There was also uh, a very important um, uh, miners um, uh, grève, um, grève, grève, strike, sorry, a very important strike in Murdochville uh, which again was uh, very, very harshly uh, uh, repressed, although gained a lot of uh, uh, gains and um, recognition uh, and support among the population in Murdochville. There were also uh, some smaller but significant strikes among um, employees, um, um, commercial sectors employees uh, in Montreal, notably uh, Dupuis Frères, which is a chain of uh, a clothes store, which was very popular in the 50s and 60s, uh, and so on and so forth. I can uh, uh, name uh, quite a few of them, but the general aspect of, uh, of uh, all these, um, uh, all these uh, strikes and uh, actions of the uh, um, unions was that they permitted in a very gradual and um, uh, progressive manner, the unification, if not in organization of the uh, workers' uh, uh, associations, 
but they permitted not only a gradual increase in their capacity to unionize workers in what Quebec had uh, um, witnessed as a rapid pace of industrialization uh, in the 30 years that had preceded that period and which were, which were uh, now uh, um, being deepened by the regime of Duplessis, which was a very backward Union Nationale, uh, a conservative, uh, rural-based, uh, and Catholic Church-supported government, which ruled over Quebec for uh, almost, uh, in fact, for 16 years, and which was only uh, toppled in 60 uh, by the liberals because of uh, uh, rampant uh, corruption scandal, uh, which was um, uh, what was referred, as you remember, the McLean's, uh, the McLean's uh, issue a few weeks ago, which created a lot of uh, uh, discontent in Quebec because Quebec was depicted as being, uh, as being uh, genetically almost a corrupt uh, uh, province. But uh, it's true that the political at, uh, genetics of our uh, ruling elites since at least 100 years, and there are a lot of examples through uh, the history of Quebec has uh, been very much corrupt ridden and Duplessis government is particularly uh, exemplary in that regard although what finally um, uh, presided over their downfall was the privatization of the gas distribution uh, company of Quebec which uh, in which were involved and uh, which profited to a few liberal um, Union National ministers, and that, uh, in fact, um, um, permitted to the democratic and popular movement to uh, to consolidate its uh, movement, political movement against the Duplessis government, with its uh, demise in 1960. But in, through the the 50s, this uh, uh, success of the uh, um, workers' um, movement in, uh, in Quebec was particularly important in the fact that it uh, helped the radicalization of the whole spectrum of politics uh, in Quebec. Through the, uh, the power of uh, social movements in general, but more specifically, because there were also some movements to obtain, for example, as elsewhere in Canada, uh, universal uh, public health uh, services, or uh, the democratization of education. But uh, among the, the uh, popular sectors, really the unions and the uh, uh, workers' unions were particularly exemplary with all the, um, uh, all the specific specificities of that epoch. For example, in the beginning, in a very important textile uh, um, strike in Montreal, in the textile industry in Montreal, uh, which was led by uh, uh, two very prominent uh, union activists, uh, one of which is still living, Madame Madeleine Parent. I guess a few of you know Madeleine Parent, which was uh, in the beginning of 50s even imprisoned uh, under the accusation of uh, being communist. So we are in the, exactly in the, uh, in the team of uh, this conference. Through that period, what we, what we, uh, we notice is that because of the force and the combativity of the uh, workers' uh, uh, movement, political parties, even of the uh, dominant elite, were forced to internalize part of these revendications, uh, revendication, 